Every time you see a single family house, a large, large house on a single plot, that is providing housing for someone, yes, but it's also preventing higher density development, which means we then have to access that particular house with a car. Every time you see a kiosk that may have been illegally put somewhere, that's somebody's livelihood, yes, but it's also unfortunately disruptive of a, political, uh, a, a system environment because that should be controlled through development consenting. We're so grateful for being a part of Africa Science Week. It has been a lot of fun. Today has been one of the most informative days of my life for a long time. And we just want to say thank you to all of those who spent a lot of time working on it. And we know it takes a lot of hours to bring something like this together. So keep up the energy and we hope to join you in many more of these things. The highlights for me for this evening was the fact that people were able to see that mathematics could be taught in a fun and engaging way. So Gabriel, what's the cost of your haircut? Come again? Ten. Okay, you go to a, a moderate place for your cat. <laughs> and you're okay, UG, how much roughly you would? 150. Okay. What do we do with vectors and why are they unique and called vectors? We can add them. Okay. So if you want to find the cost of the hair, the haircuts of everyone in the room, what do we do? We do um, E plus S plus G. Remembering that your first row is all for hair, so you can't be adding your first row to the second row. Okay, so we can add all these first rows to get the cost, uh, the cost of everyone's hair, the second row to get the cost of everyone's clothes, and the final row to get the cost of everyone's shoes. Okay. You mystify the fact that math is difficult, so we used very simple things like collecting attributes to explain vectors and we use simple things like rotation to explain the fact that when you perform rotation there's actually some mathematics that goes on and and it, I think it was it was effective because some people gave feedback that they found it to be very engaging and interesting yeah I wanted to ask uh, have you done any risk assessment on biotechnology yes a lot of work has been done on risk assessment of biotechnology and I think in my presentation, I tried to sneak in some risk assessment uh, when it comes to food assessment. So I talked about, uh, for example, the BT uh, crystal. I talked about its um, assessment of whether if a human being eats that BT crystal, it's going to affect you or not. Today's session was wonderful. It's always good to come into this space and discuss science, especially science in an unusual environment such as um, Accra. Um, because a lot of people feel like Africa is not the melting pot for science. So it was really nice to be here and have discussions about what is happening on the continent. I want to thank the organizers for the amazing job that they're doing. I think um, actually their job, the, the work that they're doing here is very important because Conversations are the only way to um, start changing people's minds.